Hello and welcome to another episode of Fossiliferous. So we're here with DJ Fossils. We're gonna have a little hunt down the uh, down the bay side. North Robin Hood, there we go. North of Robin Hood's Bay. So we're gonna have a, a little look along this bit of coast and see if we can find some interesting bits and pieces. So a bit of a rope to go down, which is gonna be quite fun. Some nice boats in the distance over there. And I think it's gonna peak down in a minute or two, so that's gonna be fun. Right. Well, till it does, let's get down and go get some fossils. Right, we're down on the beach, uh, first little bay, and already nice little find there. A bit worn, but there's a deck. Should be a nice one, that one. Should separate off quite well. There's another bit there as well. Another bit there. Yeah, they're not very good. But we'll pocket that one. That's going to be nice. Let's keep see if, see if we can find some more. Lots and lots and lots of decent little bits of stones here. What's on there? Oh, yep, another one in there, look. Nice, that's a nice one. Yeah, a few finds already, that's good. Lots more signs of ammonites there. That one's worn out. That one has worn out. That one, actually that. Probably will have a little middle in there. Might be worth a tap, see if it splits. Uh, again, that used to be an ammonite. So plenty to look through here. Hopefully find some nice fullens. Hopefully, I don't know why my voice went all high pitched then at the end. Chunk of Hildy there. Oh, there's another one. Du, du, du. Again, that's probably not quite there, so I'll give it a tap and see. Waiting for me there, look. A little chunk there. Ooh. A chunk of one, I'll take that. Yeah, keep looking, see if you can find some more. Spot of the duck time. Oh, it's just started raining again. Wait, is it there, look? Yeah, it is. It's another spot of the ammonite time. <laughs> oh, it's all worn and busted. Uh, it's a very grim day today on the Yorkshire coast, but you know, still very scenic, even though it's a bit grey and miserable. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, doing the jet rock section here, north of Robin Hood's Bay. You can see we're just coming to the uh, end of it now, so we dip down here, we get to. Uh, successively all the beds as we walk towards Robin Hood's Bay. You can always tell when you're near the uh, border between the Jet Rock and the Grey Shales because you suddenly find this layer of Tiltanoceros always very crushed and piratised and you also start seeing these lovely little flat semi-solatum ammonites so yeah this will be bed 32 I think of Howard's paper and then just below this we'll start to find semi-solatum nodules and below that will be the tenuicostatum nodules and then we're into the uh, Leans back in after the grey shale so yeah so just heading towards the point there tide's going out which uh, still needs to go out a little way yet yeah see what else we can find yeah nice All right just uh, found this nodule quite worn see the ammonite keel there giving it a tap to see if it'll split and this side really really nice Lovely Dactylioceros. Alright, spot the Dact time. Have you seen it yet? Daco Daco. There we go, in the bag. Alright, so spot the Dact time again. Today we'll find something that's not a Dact. Is it there? Nope, it's a junk. That one's there, I think. Yeah. Oh, a little bit missing. But the middle will be there, so yeah, be alright that one, I think. Ooh, there we go. Oh, another Dak pickup. Oh, ho, ho. that's alright. Uh, we're at Robin Hood's Bay, it's almost low tide. 
Ah, just gone past the shipwreck over there. Now, we've had a few little nodules, but nothing amazing. A couple of little subnodosis blocks. But uh, yeah, nothing really to film and show you. So yeah, we're going to keep looking along here, but now unfortunately it's uh, the dry bit. So if we're lucky, we'll have something good. Sometimes, occasionally there's a fresh fall and we find something good, you never know, but we'll see. If we find something, we'll get back to you. And it's the obligatory roundup time. Uh, so a couple of days on the coast, started at Ravenscar, the only place on the Yorkshire coast where you really get the grammos. So we didn't do so bad. There's a, a couple of nice ones in there. You can see there's a keel there, keel there. There's probably more in this block. So again, uh, I've got good grammos already, so I probably won't keep this one, but it's a good one for anyone wanting some, some grammos to prep out. They do split quite well sometimes, actually. So you can see I've got a few... Half decent splits here. Again, there's another another one in there, but there's also another little one in there as well. Uh, they are multi blocks; they go all sorts of different directions. Nice ammonites, actually. Again, some small ones, and then this block's probably the best find of the the trip, actually. So it's an interesting ribbing pattern uh, for Gramoceros. So I'm going to get this prepped to see what that is. It's probably Gramoceros, but uh, could be something else. So yeah, we'll just see what that is. Uh, this is at least three good ones in there, so that, that should be a nice block that I'm going to keep. And then uh, a couple of semi-solatum ammonites. That one's a nice nodule. Came across that one, I don't think I filmed that one, but yeah, and another nodule that, that should have one in as well. With a little elegant tisserus in there, a little jet rock nodule. Again, that's nice, little dumpy cannonball. And then, yeah, we just had quite a few dactylioceros, some nice splits on some of them. That'd be a nice one. Uh, a little hildy, which you know, is a bit rough, that to be honest. Some water worn ones. Again, some okay splits. Some quite nice ones, Perinoceros there with the little nodes. Um, yeah, and then a variety of, of water rolled ones, which again, that, that'll be all there, that'll be quite nice, that one. And some of these little ones are just really, it's a little bit of Hildy. Um, quite good prep practice, some of the little ones, just to have a little go at. There, was, there is a complete ammonite in that, it's just um, a small one. Yeah, even the water, walled, uh, water rolled ones will have really nice middles. So. You've got the option of taking the outer whirl off and leaving a perfect one or um, leaving it as is, bit of character. So yeah, these will all tidy up quite nicely, little uh, little tiny ones. Some I might have a little go at splitting at. Um, some I have had a little go at splitting at and just need the, the centres cleaning up. So yeah, all good. So yeah, not too bad uh, really. Um, Probably not quite as much as uh, sometimes I get on a, after a couple of days. I was hoping to find some rarities, um, but yeah, I think the, uh, the Robin Hood's Bay section has possibly been stripped clean over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've also had half term as well, which uh, it's a popular place, is Robin Hood's Bay. So yeah, nothing this time, but I'll keep looking. Uh, hopefully, add a few uh, new ones to my collection this year. So thanks for watching. Till next time, see you soon.